Hey everybody, this is Dave coming to you from the Gaming Cave. Today we're going to continue our playthrough of Spooka Leader from Dan Burson Games and created by Chuck Siegert. Alright, well, we're flying the Battle of Britain, 1940. It's a standard campaign. This is going to be day three of our campaign. As you can see, I still have five SO points left. <laughs> That's why I saved these because you use them to prevent some bad events happening to you. Um, but I'm getting low and I still got these three days to go. So far I've been able to do dual missions, but the pilots are starting to get a little stress on them. You gotta watch that. And depending on the type of uh, patrols, or yeah, sorties that we run up against. Okay, missions. So we're ready, this will be mission number five. It's day three and here we go. Let's see what we draw. Um, today, my recon, I can draw up to three cards. So we're going to draw the first card. And it is Large Dogfight. Four victory points. Intel is one. I get Horido and Pilot back. Two bogeys. Intercept. Five bogeys um, from the campaign sheet. Penalty, destroy four plus bogeys, or the next target gains plus one center bogey draw. Okay. Wow. All right. So that's one. That's a tough one there. And a 16, though, is it uh it's a red. It's going to be stress and fuel. Woo. Okay, here we go. Second one. Sector stations you can fly up to seven aircraft, three victory points. This is a hard objective. Place one sector station counter in each approach and center area. Bonus reduce the next target's printed approach bogey numbers by one. Well, that's two tough ones right there 16 and 11. I get one more draw. This one. Bomber Escort. Okay. Get two victory points. Escort four bomber counters. Lose one victory point for each one. I get five aircraft. 31. Well, 11's a red. 16's a red. And 31 is... Where are you at? 31. He's a orange. It's one fuel, one stress. And I can fly five on that one, which is all five of my fighters I could take there. Ah, man, what do we do here, right? I need to sit one of those fighters out and probably just take four of them. Um, one less turn. Sector stations. Large dogfight. Large dogfight's going to be tough. Two bogeys, intercept. You intercept five bogeys, and they're going to add two bogey draws every turn. <laughs> they're going to come into the center area. Um, we got to destroy penalty if we destroy four plus or the next target. So we have to destroy four of the original um, fighters. Or the next target gains one center bogey draw. All right. Woo! Woo! Hoo! Hoo! Okay. Man, now I'm now I'm struggling with what to do. Hard objective. Place one sector. What's hard mean for us? Hard. Key term. Hard. Subtract one hit from the hits inflicted by each air to ground target. Wow. Okay. So that's tough. You have to put one sector station counter in each approach center area. Each approach and the center. So there's five targets. We got to hit each one of them. Woo! Okay. Let me look at this a little closer and we'll make up our mind here. All right. Well, I'm going with the bomber escort because neither one of these. Woo! That's both of them be tough. I'm going to put them back into the target deck. Here, and we're going to shuffle the target deck. Again, mix them in. 
They could show up again. But at least for this time, no thank you. All right, we're going with the Bomber Escort. I think I'll go with the, just the plain old board because it's easier to slide my bombers across there. We're going to have four of the Heinkels. We know that. I'll put them in formation here. Two by two. All right, that's going to be who I'm escorting. We know that. There's no doubt about it. They run east to west. Okay. Selected our target. Determine and place sites. Two... Two sites in the target area and two in the approaches. Okay. One, two, and two in the approaches. Two. Go on. Two. Two. And two. Okay. Start with the center site. We have a light machine gun at low altitude. And riflemen, okay, can be able to avoid those guys. Here we have a 20 millimeter in the north and a 37 millimeter. He's dangerous. Here we have a no sight, that's good on the east approach, and a heavy machine gun. Down south we have a light machine gun and a no sight, okay. Here we have a special sight indicator and rifleman. Okay, so I got to replace the special sight indicator. <clears throat> and that will be with fire, direct, fire director destroy and the sights get a minus one. Okay. really not going to do anything for me because all the sights are low and of course we're going to be coming in high okay assigned pilots all right so i need um i can take up to five but i'm only going to go with four fighters we're going to take michaelis who has two stress on him already <clears throat> we're going to take richter who has no stress that's two green pilots. We're going to take Hartman, my ace, who has no stress. And we're going to take Hoffman, my skilled, who has one stress. Okay. So here we go. Horido, situational awareness, Hartman. And his skills. Here we have Hoffman. We used his Horido, but he could get it back after this mission. And Michaelis and Richter. Two green pilots, a skilled and a legendary. Blight is going to stay back, and we're going to see if we can get him. I'm only flying to one mission today. This is mission 31. 31. All right, and 31 is way up here. And it is an orange, so it is going to cost me a stress and a fuel for this one. And I believe it's a fuel for each plane when we do that, that goes. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. All right, assign the pilots, prepare for mission. We're good there. Draw our target event card. For every two SO points paid, inflict one hit against the target. This can destroy the target. Well, we don't have a target. That would have been nice, though, against one of them other ones, right? I could have paid some SO points and knocked out some of them, but... Okay, we'll get rid of that one. It's not going to do us any good for this one, so nothing happens there. Place our aircraft. We're all coming in high. Let's see, how do I want to do this? Last time I made a little bit, of, I can come in high here with um, Michaelis over there and Hoffman and Hartman. Hartman's coming in with Richter. Hoffman over here, we're going to come in. They can reach either one of these zones this way in case the bogey draw doesn't go my way. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Remove proper number of fuel barrels. 
I'm going to check this real quick, but I'm pretty sure it's one fuel barrel for each aircraft on this one. That's why it depletes these really fast. Otherwise, it'd only be one. That doesn't make any sense, but I'm just going to verify it. And I was right, it's per aircraft. So I got four, so I take four fuel barrels off. One, two, three, four. Leaves me with 21 still though, so we're in good shape there. Fuel is not an issue the early stage of the war <laughs> for us. Okay, determine and place bogeys. Here we go. So there is one bogey in the target area. Really? It's a no bogey. Is that right? Only one? Escort. Four bomber counters. Lose one. Bomber. For each bomber destroyed. So, wow, that's a lot different than um, bomber escort card number 17, which was one in each approach and one bogey escort. Bomber escort, bomber escort. One and one, one bogey. Hmm, you know what? I'm gonna have to do some checking on this card and make sure we don't have an error on this card. Um, it just doesn't make sense that they're, we're escorting four bombers and that we're not having any bogeys uh, up here. So let me take a look at this, I'll be back. Okay, actually this isn't bad. I would have read this different. I probably would have done this different. And in fact, I probably should, but I'm not going to change it now. I'm going to let it go. I already picked it. But this is one bogey target, one bogey in each approach. There is no respawning or, or additional bogeys do not show up. I checked this. It's on Board Game Geek. So I added the one to my approach area. So now i got to draw bogeys for each approach. So I have no bogey in the target area. We get one, two, three, four. Wow. No bogey. No bogey. No bogey. Bogey. So I only have one bogey to take care of. All right. Well, this should be fairly quick um, mission then because none of the artillery is going to get to me. All right. So we don't have, we put our turn marker. This is minus one turn, so we start on turn two. And this is going to be a quick one here. Uh, we go, there's nobody attacking anybody, so we do slow our slow aircraft moves, so our bomber formation moves. These two guys are going to move up to this approach. These two guys are going to move. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, Dave. Jumping the gun here. Jumping the gun. Back up. <laughs> Okay, we placed our bogeys. Intel air defense adjustment. One sight, one bogey. Well, that bogey's gone. One sight. Well, the worst sight I have is a high sight. We'll take him off. That's it. Now, there's no bogeys. There's nothing else. Draw our over target event card. Over target, if a legendary pilot destroys a sight or bandit and plus one to add a plus one to pilot attack rolls for the rest of this turn and non-legendary immediately suffer plus one stress. Well, guess what? I don't have anybody to fire against. And I'm in high altitude, so I can't attack any sights. So that's going to do me nothing. That was a great card to have had on a different mission. Okay, well, there's going to be no air defense. There's going to be no, um, nothing. <laughs> so, shoot. Okay, this mission's over because we're going to fly across. Everything's at low. We're at high altitude. There is no respawning. This was like a real gimme here. Um, a little disappointed that they at least didn't have the um, additional planes showing up. So, basically, we're done here. So, we're going to go to... Uh, we're going to get a completed the mission. Use no SO points. 
We still have five remaining. Complete the mission. I get two victory points for the mission, and I get one for each one of those. So that's a six. That's going to bring my victory points up to 9, 11, 13, 19. And 19, I'm now in the good range. And um, we need to do our um, homebound, event, <clears throat> homebound event card. On the next mission, add plus one to attack rolls against sites and bandits. Nice. Keep this here for that. The bomber escort is complete on mission 31. Everybody gets one stress. So I'm looking at these guys. So Hoffman, he has one stress. And he has a cool of one. So he stays one stress. Okay, so Hoffman's done. Put him up here. And we're giving two experience points. Next guy is Hartman, who has cool of two, so he takes no um, stress. Ritter, he's going to take one stress. So Ritter has one stress on him now. Richter, I mean. Richter. He'll end up with one stress. Right here. And he picks up two victory points. Okay, so that's Richter. And then we have Michaelis, who has no cool, so he's going to go to three stress. So he'll now have three, because he had two on him before. He needs a day off here, hopefully. He has three stress now. <clears throat> so that is Michaelis. And he's at three stress. He picks up two. That gives him six, so he gets promoted. So let's do that. So we'll promote him. He was green. He's going to be average now. So for him, he goes plus two. His stress stayed the same. Okay, slow. He's plus two, minus two. He really didn't gain anything. Yeah. Um, weight point, zeal. He picked up a situational awareness. So that's it for um, Michaelis. So stress is still a three. He picks up his SA. So we'll give him a situational awareness marker now. And he becomes an average in six on his next promotion. Average in six. That's all of those guys. So. I get two victory points for Hartman, and he can distribute them out. He's going to give Richter, he's going to give him both of them. And that's going to promote Richter. So he was a green four. So Richter, who still has one stress there, he goes from green to average. And for him, he bangs, he... Doesn't pick up anything up here, but he picks up his air to air, goes to plus one, and his stress level goes up to seven now. So that's much better for him. So Richter is ready to go, and he's an average six now. So Richter, that's his third promotion. He's an average six. Okay, so we got him promoted pretty quick. He's getting his skill level up. All right, all of these guys can come off. I'm going to drop down over there. All of these can come off. My bombers can come off. So that was a pretty light mission. I could have, um, I really could have done that a lot different, man. 
but the next time it comes up we'll know Hartman Richter and we had uh, Hoffman and Michaelis and on this target they get back Horido and pilot pilot something what is that pilot Horido and Pilot. All pilots replenish their Horido counters or add a pilot to your squadron whose level is specified. So I can either get my Horido back or I can add another pilot. Ooh, that's pretty nice. Let's see, on my campaign sheet, I add a pilot. He's a target bonus aircraft to skill. Whoa, that's a big deal there. And of course, doing random, I don't know what I'll get. <laughs> oh, what do you do, right? This is a juicy tidbit here. Yeah, hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into this. I just may um, try the random draw here for these guys. See what I get. Another bomber would be nice, but a uh, ME 110. I don't have any of them. Or another 109 skilled. Wow, that could make the difference for a large dogfight. Wow, wow, wow. I'm going to check that and make sure that's correct for um, the pilot. All right, this was a great... I get Horido and a pilot, so I get to do both. All right, so my Horido counter flips back over here on Hoffman, so he's got that back. He's the only one that had used it. And now... I'm going to draw a pilot. I put in my 109s, 110s, Stukas, and Bombers. We're going to draw one pilot. And this one pilot is going to be a skilled pilot. And it is a bomber. And it is, looks like Reich, Reich Leitner. Okay. So, that looks like. Looks like a JU-88, but we'll we'll hunt through here and see real quick. Reichleitner, here he is. It is. It's the second JU-88. So this is Reichleitner, and he is a skilled pilot. Ooh, nice. He's too cool. A Horido, four weight points, and a robustness for that JU-88. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay. I'll get all my counters put on there and uh, get him ready to go and put these back up. Okay. So I've adjusted everybody. Uh, Hoffman still has one stress. Uh, Blake dropped from three to one because he didn't fly. Um, Lang didn't fly. His stress is gone. Michaelis went up one, Richter has one, and we're all set there. Five for the next day. That's it for day three. We're going to call it. We'll get ready to, uh, this will be a nice short video for you guys <laughs> for day three. And um, we're set up pretty well. Stress is off all my bombers, so I'd like to have some bomber targets now, maybe. Um, boy, I got, talk about a cakewalk. It must have been the end of the day and the British had already scrambled all their pilots and didn't think we were worth coming after. So we got through there without anybody intercepting us or one of my other squadrons took care of everything, but we didn't have to do anything. So that was pretty cool. All right. Oh, I should have been adjusting my supply dump all this time. I only have five left. So one, two, three, four, five. All of these come off. Okay. That's off my original nine there. Okay. Well, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. And as always, leave me your comments and give me that thumbs up, please. I'll see you guys on the next one.